Hey, how's it going? Well, I wanted to talk about something I haven't talked about since like 2015. And that is how there are a number of negative things that come out of Western civilization. There's a lot of negative effects. We negatively affect the planet. We negatively affect other countries. We negatively affect other cultures. We negatively affect other animals. And to me, we should be working at harm reduction. There are those out there who wish to just take down the system altogether. There are some people who label the system as white supremacy. And I'm just like, no, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with race. If you, I mean, if you want to turn it into race, then you can go right ahead, but you look kind of silly to a number of people. I mean, there are people out there who make it sound like, you know, science as we know it that uses the scientific method, being able to test things over and over again to see if you get the same result, that sort of thing, that somehow science, it promotes a system of white supremacy, or it's racist in some way, or it's against other cultures because it doesn't it doesn't hold up ideas that come from other cultures as highly as it does itself. And I'm just like, well, if the other cultures have used the scientific method, then fine, you know, we'll, we'll, let's look at those things. But if we're just supposed to listen and believe, that's a bunch of bullshit, right? Um, there are some things out there like... Uh, Hashtag science must fall. There was a video from a, from a few years ago. I can't remember where it was in South Africa. And they were pushing that, uh, yeah, we should, we should view all other ideas, even though it's supposed to be science, let's view all these other ideas as just as equal as the things that have been, that have used the scientific method to, to prove something. Some people even wanted to essentially abolish the kind of science we do in Western civilizations. And uh, there was one person in, the cl in that classroom saying that uh, we, should, uh, we should essentially look at voodoo beliefs and the beliefs that uh, someone can guide where lightning strikes. And uh, how does that happen? We should, uh, we should really look into that. And it's just like, why? <laughs> Why should we view those things as just as valid? What, just because people say something happens? It's not tested or any of that. We should just listen and believe. And there are people that want to basically decolonize science, right? The a suggestion that the way that we do science is pushing a, a imperialistic, colonial type of situation, that it, that it supports... Again, supports white supremacy, and it's just like, wow. It, I don't know how people can turn anything into a race issue is, is kind of mind-boggling. Western civilization has a number of negative effects. And it has what I like to call the three pillars of Western civilization. If this isn't anything I've studied, it's just my own observations. So... I could probably be proven wrong, and I could probably be shown a better way of explaining these things. So, but there's ownership, control, and manipulation. Ownership is a concept we hold very dear in Western civilization. And not every culture holds that up so high. Not every culture even believes in, in ownership. Some cultures think that we can't own anything, that nature owns us. But yeah, ownership uh, has been taken to some really awful places, like when people thought they could own other people, that's where you get slavery. But there, there's a number of leftovers we have of ownership. Some of them would, would be, for instance, uh, people think they can own pets. Uh, farmers own livestock. There are still some parents out there who think that they own their children. And again, not every culture believes in this ownership thing. 
Then there is control. Things that we own, we, or think that we own, we want to control. Um, then there's manipulation. Now, I separate it from control because things that you manipulate, you don't necessarily control. You can, you know, guide it something into doing something a little different, but that doesn't mean you control it, right? But uh, we, we manipulate the planet, we manipulate other cultures, we manipulate other countries, and we all do this for our gain, you know? If we didn't manipulate the environment and the planet, we wouldn't have any of this technology. We wouldn't have... We wouldn't know shit about chemistry. We wouldn't have modern medicine. We'd still be living until we're like 30 years old and then die of some terrible, preventable disease. Manipulation is what allows us to have the things that we have. But there are negative effects of it. There are some things that we shouldn't be manipulating. There are some things that we shouldn't essentially take ownership of. You know, we, we shouldn't go around acting like we can, can manipulate and own other countries. We shouldn't be bombing other countries. We shouldn't be taking all the resources of another country if they're not getting any sort of good deal out of it. You know, we should be a little bit more... We, we should have a little bit more morals in the way that we do it, right? We shouldn't be manipulating other cultures. We shouldn't be uh, offshore drilling. We shouldn't be fracking. We shouldn't... Uh, there, there's so many things that we could do to reduce harm that Western civilization causes in many ways, especially the United States. There's a lot of harm reduction we could do. There's a, lot, there's a number of people out there who want to see the end of Western civilization. There's a number of people, as I've said, who view Western civilization as the promotion of white supremacy, even if it has nothing to do with race. I don't really know what to tell those people. You know, I can't deny that we cause a lot of harm. I just think that trying to reduce the harm is the, is the best answer. I mean, just as humans, humans have a lot of negative traits no matter what type of government that you have. Whether it's just hurting other humans, or whether it's, it's hurting the planet, or whether it's... I mean, there's something that we're hurting. And whatever culture it is, it's, it, it, I think the best answer is to reduce harm. I certainly hope that the whole decolonize science, and uh, science must fall, and pushes to... I, I mean, there's another side to this as well where people are wanting to demographically uh, dictate scientific study, where they'll say, oh, there's, there's too many of this demographic in science, and we need to change that, regardless of who, who is uh, getting the best results and who is doing the most important work. And some of it is this notion that we should discount some people's work because they're the wrong demographic. Or even the notion that some scientific research should be halted if the only people carrying out that research are the wrong demographic. Or we should prop up some ideas simply because they're the right demographic, all out of political correctness and diversity, right? That's kind of worrisome. Now, hopefully that's just paranoia. But you never know, right? I guess it's like uh, looking at WebMD when you're sick with something, right? Everything leads to cancer, right? Anyway, thanks for watching.